Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study about the evaluation or the testing of dental materials. The evaluation or testing of dental material it is performed in order to protect the dentist from unsuitable dental products or materials. So what are the steps? Usually the first step is the laboratory evaluations. So numerous laboratory tests they are performed for uh, new materials and these tests they are performed to predict the behavior of the material when these material they will be used in the clinical settings. So it provide a good estimate. So some of the tests, the example of some of the tests is, so out of those numerous tests that we will give you two examples. So the first test is the solubility test. So solubility tests are usually performed to check the stability of the material in the aqueous medium. So usually the solubility tests, they are conducted in the laboratory in aqueous mediums like distilled water or saliva, artificial saliva. And it is this solubility, solubility test is usually performed on the filling materials and sometime on the denture based material as well. Another example is the bending test or transverse strength, strength test. So this test is basically performed for new denture based materials uh, to predict their performance when they will be used in the clinical um, settings. After the laboratory evaluation, the next step is the clinical trials. The laboratory tests, they, prefer, they provide useful data and after a material it passes through the laboratory evaluation, the next step is the clinical trial. So the ultimate test is the randomized controlled trials and these trials are mostly conducted in cooperation with a university or hospital before the final release of the material for the clinical use or for the general practice. Though the clinical trials, they are the gold standard, but uh, sometimes the verdict of the practitioners, uh, it is also very valuable. After a period of some months or some year, the verdict of the practitioners or the feedback of the practitioners is also very useful for um, for to predict the success to predict the long term success of the material so this is a brief overview about the evaluation of the material we will discuss individual tests in our upcoming lecture series so thank you so much do give us your feedback in the comments below and do visit our website that is www.dentaleducationhub.com Thank you and stay blessed.